Bye, Flair. Bye, John. Bye, Macy. Five thirty. Leave in twenty-five minutes. Welcome back to another episode here. Another early morning at DFW. We are today's today's going to be a really fun day. I've got some ideas on how we're going to make this day really exciting. Hopefully, they work out. The overall go with goal is to get to Duluth, Minnesota where I'm meeting my buddy Spence. As you guys know, Spence is a freaking awesome guy. He's pretty funny and we're going to do some cool stuff with another dude up in Canada for, I think I've only got two days in Canada, which is kind of a bummer, but I still get to go there. Also. Thank you. I'm going to scarf this down. We're going to get on a plane. We've got to go to St. Paul, Minnesota first, then to Duluth, Minnesota, and then we get in the car with my buddy Spence. We're supposed to arrive around 11 a.m. Hopefully that all works out. We've got about 20 minutes until Spencer is here to pick me up. But, you know, nothing can ever go smoothly with me in airports and one of my bags is not here. I checked on the app and it says it's gonna be here at like 6 p.m. tonight and that's not gonna work, so I've gotta figure out how to get that back to my house. I'm hoping it's the fishing rods and not my actual like stuff that I need. My rods made it, but none of my clothes made it, so that's, you know, that's key. Everything before this was shot in manual focus, so it looks a little goofy, you know. Just to give you guys a quick lowdown now that you can actually probably see my face and my beautiful haircut, we are here in Duluth, Minnesota. And when I left DFW this morning, they forgot my, they lost my bags. And as you guys know, I'm going to Canada. They can't get my bags here in time. So we have to go buy all new clothes. We need to get new bibs, new rain gear. Supposedly they're gonna reimburse us. Don't know if that's true. Also have to buy camera gear chargers. They said that that is also reasonable because it's for work. So that's that. Um, Spencer is coming right now. He's about 10 minutes away. So the first stop is going to be either like a Gander Mountain or Shields or something. Then we have to stop at like a Best Buy and then also a Walmart to get a new suitcase. Because my oversized rods got here, but my suitcase did not. So now we're just going to wait and chill until Spencer gets here. <laughs> Hey, you got any luggage on ya? Oh, that's right, you're homeless with a couple rods. Let's go, bud. Get in the truck. Put these under Buddy's tire. Maybe he'll squeal out of here like he owns a place. <laughs> How you been, man? I haven't seen you in a minute. I'm freaking good, dude. I'm so happy to go to Lake of the Woods and get out of Green Bay. Green Bay is good, but I'm ready to go to Lake of the Woods and actually catch a bunch of walleye. <laughs> We're catching smallmouth. We're not catching walleye. So the first stop is literally Gander Mountain, which is probably point two miles away from the airport. And because we're we're gonna load up because Buddy has no clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I have no, I have nothing, dude. He's it's got not, nothing. Dude. It's not like I have anything. Like the lady was like, "Don't you have a carry on?" And I was like, "That's my camera stuff." She's like, "Oh." It's gonna be not like crazy cold, but you think I need like one of these? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the sixty bucks? What size is it? Medium. There you go. But they make fitting rooms. Hey, sir, can we get a fitting room? Oh, no, we'll just make our own fitting room. Bud, what do you think? You, you, tuck, you always tuck your shirt in like that. These will fit me. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, wait, they got, oh, no, those are 32 30s. What size are you, like 24? I'm 30 30. Gander check. Jay, uh, I don't think I've mentioned this, but Jay is, who is Jay? How Jay do we... Siemens from Siemens Media Productions, south of Winnipeg, good kid. He's the man, he's Jay the is man. the man. He's coming with us on this trip. He said he's gonna get my chargers that are in my bag, and he's also gonna get me some bibs. 
So the only thing I really need now is underwear, socks, and co food. cosmetics, food, and maybe two more pairs of pants. At least maybe. one more pair of pants. How many pairs of pants do you have? One, and they don't really fit me. Oh, they cut it good? Yeah, good. Oh boy. I'm gonna get mine cut next. You won't let me though. We start the journey now? Let's go, let's do it right now. Ooh, what do we got here? What's up, buddy? Where are you going? That's a guy. No, there's a chick and the, the daughter. She's on social media. She's probably on Instagram looking at her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> he doesn't love you! He never did! Well, we got Chipotle. Oh, dude, should we stop at Kohl's? No, we've had every freaking <laughs> designer store in this whole freaking city. So now that we've kind of got everything under control, the only thing we really need to get... Put your seatbelt on. The only thing we really need to get now is cosmetics. So my makeup, makeup, eyeshadow, lip some, gloss, some key things. But other than that, Airpods. we're just gonna we're, we're gonna just drive for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're at Doug's supermarket, Warroad, Minnesota. Welcome to Doug's. Uh, Alex, get it. We've accomplished nothing today. I feel like. We're gonna so we need to get food for this trip because we are going into Canada. I didn't really realize exactly what we're doing. I finally looked at a map and this is actually going to be... <laughs> this is at a map when we get up here. <laughs> this is actually going to be really cool. But uh, this is like the last place we could stop for groceries. So we've got to make sure we stock up. We've got to make sure we stock up for the next two days, three days. Not even, yeah, yeah. We, so here's the idea, or here's the plan. We were supposed to go fishing today. Obviously, we're running out of time due to the fact luggage, fishing, bait, ice cream. There was just too many stops along the way. So what I didn't realize is we were actually going through Canada, then back outside of Canada to get to a small little peninsula that the U.S. owns up in Lake of the Woods. It's called Angler's Inlet. Angle Inlet. Angle Inlet. And that's where we're headed right now. Anything you want to add? Uh, nope. Dougie's was good to us. We got all the food we need for the next few days. What happened? All right, we're going back into the U.S., so we got to call back into the U.S. Hi there, uh, calling from Jim's Corner. Just reporting to head back into the U.S. here. Uh, Spencer, S-P-E and S-E-R. Uh, yep, yeah. uh, Samplowski, S-A-M-P-L-A-W-S-K-I. Uh, April 10th, 1992. Yeah, I got Alex Perrick, A-L-E-X, P-E-R-I-C. No, that's it. Thanks. Okay, so what we did there is we just called in. We're coming back into the U.S. here. Um, so if, I, or if we're leaving here, like if we're leaving our state, then we're gonna call the Canadians, basically hit that Canadian thing, lets them know that you're going back into Canada. But for us, we left Canada, we're coming back into the US. Now we're back in the US again. So we made two port of entries today. One of them was at a crossing, the other one's at Jim's Corner here. Um, pretty cool deal. I don't know how many other places like across the world basically can do that. I mean, it's you're basically just trusting over the phone that you know, we're legit and we're coming back into the country, so pretty cool deal. Uh, not many places you can do that. Good to be back. So it was kind of a little confusing there. We, What we did was we went over the Canadian border, which was not on film because my mic wasn't on, and then we went back across the U.S. border. So there's like a little small section where you literally have to cross the Canadian border to get to the U.S. border. I know we've said this like eight times, but that's that. Um, Tomorrow is going to be a fun day. I don't know how much filming I'm going to do, but I'm with Jay, who's coming tomorrow morning. Jay is the guy who we talked about earlier in this video. Awesome dude. He's got some cool stuff. I'll leave his YouTube channel below. He's a photographer, a filmer. He does film some of the uncut angling stuff. That's how I knew him before in the past. 
can't wait to meet him. And then Spencer, yeah, you guys know Spencer. He's kind of a goof. But um, we were filming so kind of something that we'll talk about more tomorrow, but I'm not really sure if I'll be able to fit a vlog, and that's kind of what I was going with that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's travel vlog, something that I've never even thought I'd do cross a couple borders and somehow I'm in Minnesota again. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Delta, you know, huge shout out to Delta. Thank you guys. Um, I'm trying you guys out. You just, huge shout out to Delta. That's all I got to say. We'll see you guys tomorrow on another episode of AP Bassin.